Do I look like a wreath? Hello everyone, welcome to a Christmas special of the Blind Pinterest Challenge. The series where I recreate Christmas crafts and DIY projects from Pinterest without any instructions because it's Jesus' birthday and that's what Jesus wants. Jesus wants us to either... <laughs> Jesus wants us to... Jesus wants to see us either succeed or fail in making some crafts that I have absolutely no idea how to make and I want to make them proud. Hey, go hey. Okay, so I think I'm going to start this one quite strong and try and make these Christmas baubles which look super fancy, look ridiculously fancy and I have a good feeling they're made out of resin but they could have potentially been made out of glass and obviously I'm not going to be making mine out of glass, I'm going to be choosing resin and I'll just need to find like a very specific mould but I think they're just like well Nice. I'm not a classy person. I'm, I know it's hard to believe, but I'm not. But I just, I don't know. They, these just really speak to us. They say, look at me. I'm a fancy bitch. And I want to be a fancy bitch for once in my life. I'm never that fancy bitch. The second one I want to try is a very, very simple, easy one. And it's this light up kind of Christmas light ball thing. And obviously it's shown us some pictures on how to do it. And I think I would have come up with that solution anyway. But they look well cool. This reminds us of, I did a blind Pinterest challenge one time. And I tried to do like a plastic cup thing with lights in it. And it was a shit idea. It just looks ugly. This feels like an idea. That's very simple and it's kind of like that idea but better and I think this one's gonna work this time I also want to try a really ridiculous one and make this wreath jumper Christmas idea Where it's basically a jumper design But you lift your arms up and you can turn yourself into a Christmas wreath And I think that's fun if you turned up to a party dressed like this people would instantly be like oh look at them They're the life and soul of the party aren't they? They're not an absolute loser at all and I want to be that person I really do I want to walk into a room and have people judges. Who are you? I'm Darlene's cousin. Who the fuck are you? My god. Another one I want to try, only because I have loads of these already, is turning the little plastic electric tea lights into little snowmen heads. Because I think that's actually a really clever idea. I think it'll be very simple and like I said, I've got loads of them, little tea light things, and I don't know what to do with them. So I'm going to make some snowmen with them. And finally, the only one out of all the crafts that I'm picking today, I think is going to actually go badly for us, is this one. I think I want to challenge myself to making this like reindeer light up feather feathery bauble ornament thing and this out of all of them is probably is the only one I have no idea how I'm going to make it yet so I'm going to need to have a good think and buy the right materials and hope mine looks the same as this but I have a feeling out of all the ones I've picked this is the one that's going to cause us trouble <laughs> So yes, I think that's my pick for this year's Christmas crafts for the blind Pinterest challenge but will I succeed? We'll soon find out. And I'm finally back. And I thought we'd start off with the little snowmen LED candle things. <laughs> so I've got a box of little candles and oh, I'm sure I have another box of these with a less in. Where'd that other box go? Oh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I think I'm only going to make one just for now. And then if I fancy it, I might make another, but I don't think I will. So probably just want to cover that hole. And I thought for this one, I know their original one has like a black top hat, but I wanted to give it some pizzazz. Fancy. And I found this blue form I had in the studio and I thought that would be quite nice. So I'm going to make a little hat out of this. At the end of the day, this is the kind of decoration you can easily make your own and I don't think they're going to be too difficult so you could quite happily like whap out whap, whap, whap. an absolute load of these and decorate your entire Christmas tree with them if you wanted to perfect oh that's well cute right and just add a little bit of hot glue on the top stick you down then go in with a sharpie and just give you some eyes and a mouth and then to match the blue hat I'm going to use some blue ribbon and then again just like a little bit of hot glue on each side and then I know they had like a little scarf underneath but I'm pretty sure their tea lights are different to mine and they've got like a ridge where they can actually stick some sort of scarf onto it. Do I want a scarf? I could just easily actually, hang on a second, what happens? I just cut a little bit of this off. Oh yeah, I could easily give it like, just like a hint of scarf and then it's proper matchy matchy, isn't it? It's all blue. I'm proper making this up, I don't know whether you can tell. I didn't really have a plan for this. That's a bit wonky, but it's fine. Okay, so we have expectation. <laughs> 
And reality, how cute is that? Obviously I know mine isn't perfect, and theirs does look a little bit better than mine, but I think I've got like the essence of what theirs is, and this was ridiculously easy to make. It was absolutely piss easy. And this is the kind of thing you could go absolutely crazy with and come up with loads of different designs, or you could just keep it quite simple like that. I think it's a fantastic little idea, proper clever. And the best thing about this little snowman ornament is it cost me absolutely nothing. <laughs> I don't think in the Blind Pinterest Challenge for a long time I've had a craft that's cost me no money. I had all the materials I needed to make this little thing and quite frankly I've got enough materials to make that many if I wanted to. So yeah if you have a spare box of these little LED candle things make yourself some snowmen. You could even do this on Christmas Eve and they'd be ready for Christmas Day. That's how piss easy it was. Okay so next up I thought we'd move on to the Christmas light up ball and I started off with some wire mesh that I already had in the studio and also put on some gloves because if you've ever worked with wire mesh, you'll understand that it shreds you to bits. So this is the one time I would say, safety first, get some gloves on. And now it was just time to cut this wire down and try my best to kind of mould it into a ball shape, which turned out to be way more difficult than I thought it was going to be. For some reason, I just couldn't get the wire into a perfect cylindrical ball and just ended up with like a squashed blob of wire mesh, which doesn't look great. However, I'm thinking once lights are on, you won't really notice it too much. And finally, I just wrapped my ugly blob of wire mesh in Christmas lights until I was kind of happy with it. But we have expectation and reality. And obviously this looks abysmal. It looks so bad. Absolutely shocking. It's just a clump of wire. However, I'm thinking once this is lit up, it'll actually look like kind of half decent. Um, I don't want it flashing, how do I change it? Okay, that's different, isn't it? I suppose if you put this on your lawn, no one would really be able to tell that it looks as bad as it looks underneath. And especially in dark. Hang on, I'll turn the lights out. Yeah, that looks a bit more festive, doesn't it? I, I don't think it's too bad of an idea. Obviously, mine isn't perfectly circular, and it's a little bit more like kind of a Christmas fairy light meteor or something like that. But I don't know, it's simple, effective, and I don't think it looks too bad. And all I needed to buy for this was some Christmas lights. I don't know how much I spent though. I have a feeling I spent a lot of money on them for some reason. Obviously I just wanted to shit away money that day. So in total this cost me £24.99 and believe it or not there's a thousand lights on this. I think you could buy some cheaper Christmas lights and obviously I have less Christmas lights but it takes a lot of light to actually cover the entire ball. So now I thought we'd move on to the resin baubles and for this I just bought a silicon bauble mould online and I think this one's a very similar shape to the one in the original pin. That's what I was looking for and aiming for. In my original idea for these ornaments was to pour resin into the silicon mold, drop some alcohol ink and call it a day. The problem with that is when you put the alcohol ink onto the resin it gives a very specific effect on the resin and I don't think that the original pin they don't have that effect. I don't know what that effect's called but you can tell when someone's just dropped some alcohol ink and it spreads so I thought I would try a different technique. So with this one I put various colours of alcohol ink directly into the silicon mold and then I also sprinkled some gold maker powder and some white mica powder inside of the mold just as like a little dusting, a little touch, a little hint of colour and then finally poured my epoxy resin over the top of this and once that was done just gave it a quick blast of heat and then left it for a full day to set. So I've got my little set of baubles here and just looking at the original pin I've realised that I've gone for the complete wrong colour choice. I don't know why I added blue for and so much pink. I think I saw a hint of pink in the original and was like oh well I'm just going to use loads of pink and then chuck some blue in for some reason. But anyway let's Let's get these out, see what they're looking like. Oh, okay. Oh, these are actually quite cute. You know what? These aren't going to look like the original pin, but I think I'm going to like mine better. They don't look as classy as the original, but they look, I don't know, they just look really nice. I'm just going to quickly show you them up close, because I, I need to add some ribbon yet, but look at these. Look how well they've turned out. They look really, really cool. Proper, proper fancy. I'm so happy I used the technique that I did. But now I just need to add some gold ribbon, and I'm just going to use some stuff I've already got in the studio, just to keep costs down. Tight little very. I'm surprised as well because these are quite a thin like mold but they're very durable they feel very strong. Okay so we have expectation and reality. In fact what I think I'm gonna have to do is get a bit of paper like a blank bit of paper and show you them because you're never gonna be able to see that. I want everyone to see the detail because these look well cool. Okay so there's one obviously you can see the other side there. Fancy 
fancy fancy. See, this is the bad thing about having a busy studio. You can just never see anything. Really? There's the second one. That's well cool. Love that. I'm kind of happy I put blue in. I know I wasn't supposed to, but I'm glad I did. I think this one's my favourite one. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at all them colours. And I absolutely love the texture and the effects on it. This little cute butt plug shaped one. How adorable. Just don't get excited and put it in any private places. This is another one of my favourite ones. I think the colours are so cool. This is more my vibe. I really like the like really bright, intense colours. And then finally this one. And this one looks a little bit more sophisticated, actually. It's a bit more black, a bit more gold, a bit more kind of bougie, I suppose. And again, I think this craft was like a really easy one. And especially if you're familiar with resin and stuff, you'll be able to whip these out in no time. And all I had to buy for these was some resin. So I think a set of, how many have I got? Two, three, four. A set of six probably cost me around about 10 pounds, just because resin is quite expensive. But still, I think if you saw these in the shop, they'd be charging you a lot more than 10 pounds for them. Okay, so moving on to the one that I'm least excited about and I haven't even made it yet. And it's the Ray India lighter kind of loopy moon thing and to be fair I think I've already chosen some very questionable choices for this ornament looking at the original for some reason when I buy the materials in order to make these crafts I'm sure I'm looking at the image of the original and it's just like a blur it's almost like I don't even take it in I don't know what's wrong with this everything but anyway, for the kind of moon shape thing, I thought it would be best to just buy something. And I bought this banana holder. And obviously it's in black, which isn't great. And it's also very thick. But I think this will be a nice base to work with. So we'll start with this and see how we get on. Right, I've also got some feathers. And I've got some polystyrene balls. And I think my favourite tool is going to be hot glue. Oh, actually, I think I'll add my lights first. Oh my god, three AA batteries. Are you kidding? For a little pack of lights? Why? Like, that's a proper scam. I feel like this little pack of lights should only take one, maximum two batteries, not three. These better last an absolute lifetime if they're running on three batteries. Oh, actually, there's quite a lot of lights on this. I didn't realise. <laughs> Maybe that's why it takes three batteries. Why are there so many for? I thought there were only a few lights on this. I suppose you can't have too many lights at Christmas time, can you? Okay, I've got them unravelled. I thought these were going to be about half the size. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Okay, well, we'll start at the top and just wrap these all the way around and just absolutely stack light onto this since I've bought so many. Ah, oh, they're already tangling all over the place. <laughs> Stop it. There's nothing worse than untangling Christmas lights. At least this is going to hide the black and make it a little bit more copper, which I think's fancier than the black. I'm standing up. I'm on a mission. For some reason, and I don't know why, I always find when I stand up, I'm more focused than when I sit down. I don't know whether anyone else feels that way. Nope. I was actually going to hot glue these lights on, but there's absolutely no point when you can just kind of wrap them. I don't think they have any around the base, so I'm not going to add any to that and just kind of focus more on the moon shape. That took me 10 minutes just to wrap the lights around it. See if it still works. Oh, what? Oh, that was so worth it. Oh my god. Oh, oh that's adorable. I kind of like this how it is, actually. Am I turning into a minimalist? Don't you swear at me, you little shit! And now I suppose all I need to do is start sticking some feathers and balls onto it, and then I should be done. And I have made a little bit of a mistake. On their original, I've realised that they've used some, like, proper silver baubles. And for some reason, when I looked at it, I thought they just used regular foam baubles. So that's all I've got. I haven't got any normal baubles. So it's going to be very white and very plain and very boring. But I can't blame anyone else but myself. Hopefully hot glue will just keep this in place. Oh, this is going to look a bit different, isn't it? I actually think it's going to look quite nice. I don't know why I was worried for. I sometimes need to have a little bit more faith in myself. Oh, and also I got a lovely surprise in the mail the other day because I applied for a credit card and it came yesterday. And it's the first credit card I've ever actually had in my life because I don't trust myself with one. So now I basically have a card with £5,000 on it for free. But I can, I can go shopping and everything. <laughs> Gold, diamonds, caviar. Obviously, I know credit cards aren't free money and you have to pay it back. I'm not, like, stupid. That's debatable. And the only reason I applied for a credit card is because I'm trying to not necessarily improve my credit score because I don't have bad credit, but I just don't really have much credit because I'm trying to save up for a house. And I'm hoping by around about this time next year, I should be in a position to be able to get my own home, which I am incredibly, incredibly excited about. And I've been wanting it for so long. Like, because I've started 
started this new job and everything, I've had more opportunities to do kind of more work and I've been absolutely hammering the hours at work. If you work for the NHS, there's a thing called bank and you can basically sign up to be on the bank. And if you do that, it means you can take extra shifts, not only in your department, but in basically any department in the hospital that you're qualified for. So I've just been working here, there and everywhere. Been doing sometimes 70 hours a week. <laughs> So hopefully, if everything goes right, next Christmas, I'll be celebrating it in my own home. I'll wake up and there'll be no one there. I'll wake up and it'll just be me and my own thoughts. Oh, oh, absolute heaven. I literally, I just can't wait to not be surrounded by people and to basically have everything that I want in its own place and I've put it there for a reason. That's what I'm most excited about. I think people take it for granted when they own their own homes and they live alone or they live with a partner or whatever. You basically have your own life and I feel like sometimes I'm living my life by other people's lives and it's just, it's really irritating. So the sooner I can get my own place, the happier I'll be. Honestly, I'll be on cloud nine. Oh, you know what this is actually looking really really cute like proper like chintzy and sweet i'm kind of into it i suppose this is a good reason as well to use polystyrene balls especially on this bit because they're so light they're very easy to stick to whereas if you used anything heavier you'd have absolutely no chance okay i think i'm going to stop sticking feathers and balls to this because i know for a fact i'm going to get absolutely carried away and this is just going to be a mountain of balls so all i need to do now is just add a little reindeer and i bought this little cute one i think that's absolutely adorable isn't it and it goes quite well with the white theme and we'll just hook it onto here so we have expectation and reality how cute is that oh i think i've done a really good job with it actually and then if we turn the lights on where's the light switch at oh, oh i'm gonna have to turn the lights out i think this is gonna look way better in the dark just hide all the horrible detail or lack of detail oh how cute is that that's ridiculous that looks so nice imagine that obviously lit up on your desk or on your kind of mantelpiece or something i think that looks really really nice and to be fair as well in the dark when it doesn't have kind of harsh light on it even up close it doesn't look look too bad it doesn't look horrible or anything or like mega tacky this was the one i was worried about and i didn't need to worry about it at all i think i've done a very good job well done me so in total this cost me 32 pounds and 69 pence which i do think is a little bit on the expensive side but i think if they were selling this in a shop again no, they wouldn't charge more than that, would they? It'd probably be about a £15 ornament, but I don't know. I'm quite pleased with it. Even if it cost me a lot of money, I'm happy with the results. Okay, moving on to the final craft for this episode. And it's obviously the ugly Christmas sweater, which I actually really struggled with. So my first step was to obviously get hold of a white polo neck jumper, which I managed perfectly fine. I think it's very fashionable. I then hand sewed some very flexible green garland stuff to the center of this jumper. And I thought I would be best off sewing it rather than hot gluing it so it would actually stay on because if I just hot glued it, it was definitely gonna fall off. Once that was fully secure, I just decided to hot glue a little pack of Christmas lights that I already had in the studio across the full length of this garland. And I know in the original, they didn't have any baubles on their design but I thought you needed some so I found a little pack of red baubles in the studio and decided to glue them to the wreath and this is where things took a turn for the worse and I decided to try and create a red felt bow to go on the front of this jumper and for some reason I made it like a really weird way and it just looked absolutely shite in the end but I had no other option at this point this is the only thing I could physically do and I don't know why this is what I thought of and thought it was a good idea but I just persevered and glued this incredibly ugly red bow if you can even call it a bow onto the middle of this jumper and then hot glued some little pom-poms to the bow and basically called it a day so we have expectation and reality I look like I'm wearing a corset why have I made this so far down for it should be like up here why have I I've, I've just <laughs> I've literally just glued it across my tits. Look at it. Like, it's so bad. <laughs> I think I win an award for ugly level. Oh, I forgot to turn the lights on too. See if that makes a difference. Oh, that's, that's saved it. It's fine. It looks excellent now. And anyway, I'm supposed to be able to put my hands over my head and turn myself into a wreath, which I know isn't going to happen. But here we go. 
Oh, you know what? It kind of, it kind of looks a little bit better. <laughs> Does it look better? Do I look like a wreath? I don't think I do. What have I made? I tried. I literally, I did try. The way the camera's looking at us, obviously I can see in the viewfinder. It literally looks like I'm wearing a corset. It just doesn't look right. It really doesn't look right. Imagine if I rocked up at the Christmas party wearing this. They would sit me down and be like, are you all right? Are you okay, dear? What's happening? <laughs> and even worse than that, I think this costs me a lot of money to make. It probably cost me about £25 to make and it's just, it's not worth £25 at all. It really isn't. It's worth absolutely nothing. But at least I did try. I did some hand sewing and everything and there's a little light pack secured into my jumper. I know you won't believe it but I actually put effort into this. It's just sometimes effort doesn't pay off. But anyway, I think that just about does it for this year's Christmas special of the Blind Pinterest Challenge. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I definitely think this episode has been a complete mixed bag. Actually, I think we've had four successful ones and one just absolute shitter. However, saying that, do you not think I suit a turtleneck? I don't like things on my neck, but I, 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 I don't know. I think I suit it. I kind of look like I'm going skiing. Or obviously, if you count this, I look like, I don't know. I kind of look like I'm going to do a burlesque Christmas-inspired, I don't know, like striptease. But anyway, I'll see you on Friday for a Christmas treat. There'll be some sort of food involved. And I've already recorded that video, and it was different. I think it's something that no one will ever want to make in their entire life. So we've got that to look forward to. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely so happy that the other things I made went well. Because imagine if everything in this episode had the same energy as this. What would that be? How would I explain that to myself? I'm supposed to be a crafter. 